Uh, we're actually live right now. Hey. This is the cam camera. Um, yeah, and we wanted to, you know, we're, we're live uh, now on Twitch. How many Twitch. viewers do you have live? Uh, 9.8 thousand. <laughs> really? Just under 10,000. So go follow me at Lisa Leslie Yeah, drop the ground. On Instagram. Tap on there and push a like. I can't get my numbers up. I don't want to pay and like have fake followers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, know? you, want the, you want the real numbers. Yeah, I have a real number. Yes. Are you trying to chase the, like the IG like game and all that? Like it seems like... What do you mean am I trying to chase it? Like... <laughs> I just thought, like, I'm, like, trying to theme, like, how to get my numbers up. I didn't think that. So, so. Well, I'm just saying, like, you know, you With want people that are really yeah. interested in following you. Not, like, I could go buy and be at a million, like, tomorrow if you go yeah. buy it. Like, That's true. I ain't fair. Who wants See, to do I like that? that. I like, I think well, there's, there's no like cheating in any sort, you know, to, to getting that gold medal. Like, what is the preparation going into? To getting a gold medal? Yeah. Like, there's no oh. shortcuts, right? Or even any medal of any sort. Well, it's a lot well, of hard work. Yeah, we didn't even talk about any other colors. There's no other colors. I mean, it's a lot of hard work. It's, it's definitely a dedication. Um, you know, I used to get up at 6.30 in the morning and do my individual workout with my coaches, uh, Michael Cooper and Coach Thompson, Carly Thompson. Um, and then I would go and lift weights and do my workout with Adam Freeman, my trainer. Mm -hmm. you, I would go home and take a nap. Watch Judge Judy for a while. Judge uh, Judy. Go back to the gym and play pickup with the fellas, you know. So that was like my own personal kind of routine. And then obviously when I joined Team USA, mm. it was the same thing. We lift weights and work out no matter if it was game day or not. And uh, we put in the effort. You know, it takes a lot of hard work and it's sacrifice. And the difference for most people is everybody's not really willing to make the sacrifice that it takes. Like people want to have fun and, and yeah. stay balanced in life. Balance is an awful word when it comes to looking at your life because you got to be out of balance and put a little bit more work and keep that hustle, you know what I mean, if you really want to make it. Truer words, never spoken. Is your preparation for the Olympics any different than it would be for a professional game? Or are you sort of going through the same routine? You're talking about like lifting weights and then like uh, scrimmaging after? Like, yeah, is it it's definitely a little different for the Olympics. See, with the Olympics, uh, we lifted weights pretty much every day. And we did some cardio every day. So we we're in like tip top shape. Yeah. We also trained in Colorado Springs, which that altitude is so high that by the time we come back down to sea level, like we're so much faster and quicker, right? We're just like well oiled machines and our bodies are our machines. So it's a little bit different than when you're on the pro team. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you do your own training on your own. You show up for training camp and you're ready or you're not. Some people get there and they work themselves into shape and some people like myself are always in shape. So it just really depends so on lucky. your mentality. That's a you know? Yeah. So Markman in the chat says that he knows that you're a SoCal girl. What's your favorite LA basketball memory of all time? L.A. basketball memory? Of all time. Wow, that's going to be difficult. Um, there, I have probably two. I'd say first off, just being able to watch the Showtime Lakers with Magic Johnson. Mm. My favorite player was, at that time, um, James Worthy. Because James Worthy was like big game James. Magic was like, he needs a bucket, he getting the ball. Such a big game. Big game James. And so watching Showtime was really like what made me fall in love with the Lakers. And just L.A. and just a championship vibe. Then I'd say, you know, jump forward when I became a pro, winning back-to-back -back championships in L.A. for the L.A. Sparks and the Lakers winning back-to-back -back championships also in those same years, we were hot. Yeah. <laughs> so that was cool. And then, you know, obviously with Kobe, you know, rest in peace, just and he and Shaq and just, I mean, we were winning, you know, and to, to have all those championship trophies there, that's what it was about. And any time we didn't win, you know, we felt like we wasted a whole season. Really looking real nice right now, though, yes. with everything. Yeah, they look amazing. We can just gosh, stay injury free, yeah. get to those playoffs. You know, I'm a little concerned that we need some more fast break points. So mm. I'm a little, I have some concerns about us for the playoffs, but I think overall we have all the pieces that we need. The guys have the chemistry, and they're so unselfish. And LeBron is so he's such an unselfish leader. Um, you know, and his ability to get a triple double and do whatever it takes, but. I just think that sometimes when they, they, they play um, half court basketball a lot, and it's a lot of banging. You know, mm. I'm just getting a lot of uh, some fast break points in there. So, other than that, you know, I'm always going to watch critically, though, because I, I love the ladies. So, seeing your four time Olympic gold medalist, what's your 
favorite city that you well what's your favorite place that you've ever been to for the Olympics? Uh, with the Olympics well I'd probably say my favorite Olympics was Greece Greece was really nice in terms of being there the Greek people were really nice the food is amazing mm. it was nice and flowy kind of give you that Florida <laughs> vibe vibe yes um, so I had a great time in Greece and plus we were like our teams were together the men and women's basketball team so uh, we had a really good time in Greece challenges right now we're like digging through questions okay some are just what like questions you guys have out there um we so we're looking at instagram questions uh, make sure twitch. you follow her on instagram twitch. too yes yeah okay. blow up those twitch. numbers twitch you make sure twitch is following me yeah Okay, given what's going on out there? given the you were talking about the food like in Greece, uh, Tokyo obviously a very big culinary city yeah. as well. Anything that you're looking forward to uh, or drinking like in particular when you get there in the Olympic Village? Well, I'm not going to Tokyo. You know, I'm retired. I have my four gold medals, but I wish I could go to Tokyo. Tokyo is very expensive, but they're super super fashionable. Yes. So I would love to go to Tokyo and look at the fashion and eat some great food. We'll see. I'll put that on my bucket list. Speaking of the fashion, uh, how does it feel to, to wear like the new uniform? It looks super high tech, um, and of course, it's sustainable uh, to boot. Like, how does it feel to be actually be in there? Well, it's, it feels great. Um, I'm just really happy that that uh, Nike has stepped up big uh, with this sustainable clothing for men and women. Uh, it's a huge opportunity. Uh, I would just say to the people out there to make sure you're supporting companies that support us, that support our communities and that support our planet. All right, I have one last question uh, before. They're going to pull you yeah, they're pull us. before they sand me and you. Other than basketball, uh. what's another Olympic sport that you love watching? Oh, wow. Let's see, other than basketball, I love watching track and field, probably one of my favorites. Um, I definitely love to watch uh, beach volleyball. Uh, let's see. I love swimming. Swimming is great. Um, yeah, I, I love watching all the sports. I, I think the one thing that stands out to me, but it's the Winter Olympics, is the curling and all of that. Yeah. <laughs> That's always like, what, what are they doing? Sport. But you can't take your eyes off. Uh, but I, I love to watch uh, the Summer Olympics. is great. Track and field probably is one of my favorites. Thank you. Nice. Appreciate you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure meeting you. Yeah. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Thank you. I'll do this. Yeah, I can you know. <laughs>